Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to continue to play Stray. Um, we left off getting the tower started. Um, and let's continue the adventure. Okay, so, let's see, okay, we're back at Momo's, look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Yeah, okay. Be careful. It is a case sensitive, so you at the bar. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And then it was O or was it zero? Let's see. Success! Right. Let's get to the bar. I think I went in there already. Hmm. Huh. There's a guy up here. Remember. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness from of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior.
Barter Man Super Spirit Laundry Grandma Clothing Elliot Program. Yeah. Bye. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. See if I can get this thing working. Almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out. And wait, is that you, Zabaltazar? Momo. I can't believe it, I'm so happy to hear your voice, Abultazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers. How? Hello? Darn it, we've lost the signal. I can't believe it, Spolazar is alive and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zalboltazar made it, there must be a way. We never can pass the sewers, it's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past, it doesn't end up well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Hmm, Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zergs. A few years and years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus, you just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his handbook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times, but... A few times, that must be where he was looking on, working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Okay. To the apartment. You must open the door. I know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't, won't help me, but you, I think I have an idea. Take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Alright. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab like outsider. Little outsider, I'm going to go about I'm going back to the bar to try and reestablish connection with the others. Okay.
Let's see what we can do in here. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait. Is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Maybe there are clues hidden somewhere around here. Yeah, there's one clue. E. Time will tell. Did you did your code before? How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Okay, you're great, L. Okay. Some kind of currency. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's got to be something in here with a code on it. Two, five, one, one. Yeah. Looked on the clock, so I'm like, okay. Oh, there's a Zerk or Zerk. Yeah. I've never seen this room. I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. These boot camps, they must be for his Zerk weapon, Papa was always secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back.
Hey, what news headlines, sir? Are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Find anything interesting in here? Wait, I remember that. That's the his tracker. I've always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. Can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. in peace humans <laughs> humans were the first residents around here it seems that they're all dead now what do you think it feels like being dead I know it's silly coming from me but are they actually at peace will I be at peace when I die I don't know what death feels like for an AI I'm sorry I don't want to break the mood let's move on Let's try this way. <laughs> okay, that's a dead end. Go the other way. What's this? So far, I knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Electric cable. Hmm, I don't have one. Okay, so I get an electric cable, I can get jacket or something. I can't tell. 
There's no map or nothing. Eh, why not? There's the electric cable. Merchant of the Merc. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is a sled of electric cables. The best of the market. I'll exchange for a super spirit, de super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Nope, I'm sorry, I won't accept that. all the great stuff that falls into the trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the barter man. There's something for everyone over there. Yeah, hey, but I need detergent. Gems in the trash, pennies from heaven, or from somewhere in there. Hmm. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of your ancestors. It costs you three energy drinks, I can do it no less. Yeah, I don't know what it is, so I'm not giving you all my stuff. Marketplace, okay. So what? Let's try going over here. Another energy drink? Yeah. Okay. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. I think I can play this. Condemned because of the pro proliferation of Zerks. Stay safe, stay in the safe zone. Okay, so I gotta figure out another way. Also numbers, but there's uh, looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. You must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It is possible related to the safe.
remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely emission, imitated human art. Now there is all. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that, that making art is important to, in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Let's head back to the bar because he said he was going to try and get the signal running. I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus? Okay, maybe someone in the village can help you repair it. Did you ask at the bar? Okay. Okay. The tracker. I don't know how to get that fixed. The bartender might have some ideas. What can I do for you? What a beautiful object and rare, too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little. Well, you see, you'll see. His name is Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. not the guy.
Okay, there's gonna shop. Is this a door? No, that's not a door. This is the only sign. E, translate. Elliot. Was it Elliot? Yes, can I help you? Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tahoma Omia BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I don't know how to repair it, but I'm trembling like this. I can't see my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. Okay, so I need a blanket. Stylish, no? I don't know, so miles of scars is something to do. What do you need? It's a real binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this.
Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left us the city. Our home is their legacy. And there's blankets everywhere. Let's see. Does he have a oh, maybe that's a blanket. So did I get anything? Really back when they didn't have... I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's lucky they missed them and they and in a way they kind of kept them from being going extinct. That's a good, they're good robots. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end it there, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.